I'm Alex Parkinson and I work for uh, Nando's. Um, Airsofting is basically like paintball, but with in simple BB guns. The ones you can buy from the market are cheap and crappy, uh, basically like that. And then what me and a lot of my guys use is something like that. So something that would normally probably cost you like a tenner. <laughs> this probably cost me about nearly two grand. It's a 2011 model Stemmer PTW M4A1, which I've slowly customised over the couple of years I've had it for now. Uh, basically at the moment, I'm running a Magpul flash hider on the end, which I can quickly adapt and screw in a silencer, so I can go running from a loud weapon to a very quickly a silenced weapon. On the bottom, I've got a replica Surefire grip with a infrared uh, filter on the end of it which when you're running night games and the night vision you can easily pick that up and it amplifies the natural light even more now on the top I'm running a basically a replica PEC 15 uh, but this at the moment I can run as a green laser and I've also got a real steel EOTech 552 which again works with the night vision goggles that I've got and then on the back I've got the Mark 18 stock and I've got the storm grip as well and that is my gun. Basically for the last event that we went to was with Airsoft Plantation down in Essex and that was a skirmish weekend for a period of about 24 maybe 48 hours. I'm not entirely sure on that and they basically ran two squirrel helicopters which were flown by two X uh, paras of two para I believe. So, after we went up in the helicopter, we were told very quickly to gear up and then get on board the back of the full ton bed for the truck and then go take the water pit. So, as we debossed from the four tonner, we soon got in contact behind one of the uh, marshal's vehicles where we linked up with a load of our guys. And from there, we decided to push on the cover of smoke and take the water pit. This is the night vision that only I'm using in my team because it's so expensive. I think the unit itself uh, cost me about 1,200, which is a bargain price. I could search right now for about nearly two grand if I wanted. You can see that all in shot. It's a Gen 3 PVS 7, uh, but at the minute it's kind of outdated. It's dated for, well, the expiry on the side of it is the 10th 95. So it's nearly as old as I am, but it does well. Basically at night time, it'll pick up all the natural light around that even the human eye can't see. So when there's just starlight, if it's cloudy, then you won't pick up as much. So you'll need a lot more like aids from like the, from like the torch grip with the IR filter, cause that's really an IR that only gets picked up through the night vision, not the human eye, cause the light is just that faint. But on the top here, I'm running a unclassified IR laser, which is that powerful that the human eye can't pick it up. But as soon as you put the night vision on, you can see a visible laser through it. So it's pretty incredible to see. It's like all sports, you can take it really seriously and you try and go professional, but in the UK you really can't do that. So it's more of like a fun-based thing. The only thing that we can do uh, as a team is go to some of the shops or some of the um, distributors in the UK and ask them for sponsorship. So, and that'll require us going to certain events, probably photo shoots, stuff like that, and getting our name put out there even more. So it kind of is more of an underground sport than anything. But yeah, it is a lot of money to spend on just one hobby. But if you're really that into it and really want a hell of a kick out of it and you know a bit of thrill with that actually joining up the army in person, getting shot and then losing limbs, you can do this and have not that whole death thing you know, thrown into the equation. Obviously, I could go and watch football and all that lot, but it is a lot of money just to go watch. I'd rather go out and do something myself for my money. So this is what I chose to do. 
Uh, basically, it's my passion. Uh, I live my weekends basically to go out with a lot of my friends, go to some amazing venues and sites, see a lot of our mates from around the UK and just go shoot with them and enjoy it together. 